the third place playoff here in Budapest. A second appearance at this stage this season for Jeroni Fajardo. The first time Gabriel Marseille has had a shot at the podium. The best score here takes third place. It's a brand new section as well for the consolation final. So the form book is out of the window. Jeroni Fajardo, first to attempt it in this consolation final. Makes the first step. Now the second, but down he goes. And it's a five mark score for Jeroni Fajardo in the consolation final. And if Gabriel Marseille can complete this section, he will secure the first podium finish of his career. If not, we go to tiebreak. Marseille in the same position here as Jeroni Fajardo. Fajardo was unable to make it across this block. What about Marseille? He gives it a go, but he too is down for a five and we're going to sudden death. The tiebreak section for the consolation final. Section three from the heat stages. I'll say he certainly has the upper hand here. He was one of only two riders to make it through. Jeroni Fajardo failed it in heat one. If he fails it again here, Marseille cannot be caught and will win it on count back thanks to his superior round two results. Sudden death then. Jeroni Fajardo must get through his tiebreak section. It was on this first sequence of elements that he fell and he's done so again and Gabriel Marseille secures the first podium finish of his young career. Delight for the young Spaniard. Marseille finished at the back here in 2018 with five fiascos. Two years later, he's on the podium thanks to his results in round number two, beating Jeroni Fajardo by 18 marks to 25 on countback. For the fifth X trial in succession, it's Adam Raga versus Tony Bowe. The two heavyweights of the last decade resume their rivalry at X trial Budapest. One apiece for Raga and Bowe in the first two stagings of this event. Head to head, one section at a time, each with one minute on the clock. Three of the sections in both round one and round two directions. Section four is a repeat of round two, only two brand new sections. So perhaps the disadvantage for Adam Ragger in being first out won't be too great this evening. Section one, Adam Ragger conceded a mark here in round two. Tony Bowe went through clean. The biggest challenge of this one, the fact that there's just one minute to complete both directions. Ragger efficient in the round one direction. How about the round two direction that, as I said, saw him snag a mark last time out in round two. First step completed successfully. Adam Ragger under a great deal of time pressure here. He did use up the full 30 seconds in the first direction. The second direction is arguably tougher. Still a big step to come. The time ticking away. Raga needs to rush here. He's in real difficulty. His minder will be telling him exactly what he's got to play with. This is going to be as tight as you like in section number one. If he misses out on time, it's a five mark score. Raga with the final step. Drops a mark for leaning the klaxon sounds and Raga has just about made it there. A single mark score, but by the skin of his teeth, Adam Raga gets through section one. Well, it's certainly going to be exciting tonight on the evidence of the opening section this evening. Tony Bo into section one. Adam Raga only just made it home. Bo then is going to have to be just as efficient or even more so if he wants to take the lead. Single mark drop by Adam Raga, rushing in the round two direction. Bo aiming to remain error free here. First direction completed, quicker than Raga as well. So Bo might have a little bit more time in the bank in the latter stages of this section. Turn direction now for him. Observer Moreno Piazza watching on. Bo has been faultless so far, just as he has been in the opening two rounds in this section one. Now remember that Tony Bo trademarked his own line in this section in round number two by flying across this huge chasm. Will he do the same again in the final? Yes, he will. Tony Bo, comfortable on time as well in section number one. Gets a clean and takes the lead. A single mark in it after the opening section. Five still to go, of course. We're a long way from finish just yet, but Adam Racker goes down right at the start of section number two. And that opens the door to Tony Bow to extend his lead. This one failed in both round one and round two by both riders. So it's certainly a tough one. Tony Bow gets through the first step that caught out Adam Ragger, but he does take a mark for leaning. Pivoted the bike on the sump across that A-frame and 
the front wheel, then balancing on the step the other side, down goes Bo! Went front wheel first, over the block, and the front wheel just kept moving, his momentum carrying him out of the course and down to a five. So once again, just one mark between the riders as we embark on section number three. The first time this one has been ridden in this direction tonight. Adam Ragger breaking new ground. So a crucial section for him in particular as the first rider through it. He trails by one. Adam Ragger, he's off the cylinder, but caught out so many riders in the other direction in round number two. And Ragger scores a second successive fiasco. Tony Bow again has the opportunity to extend his lead. Couldn't capitalise on it last time around in section two. Can he do so now in section three? Plenty of time for Tony Bow after a sharp start to this section three. It's one of the shorter ones, only one direction, of course. Up goes Bow. This is where Raga failed. Bo bridges, but down he goes too. Slightly different approach from Bo. Tries to bridge across to the final A-frame, but even so, the bike slips away from him. That's two sections in a row now, where Bo's front wheel has just dropped out of the section. One mark in it then, as we go into section number four. 11 for Raga, 10 for Bo. A repeat of section four from the second round, this one. Adam Raga was the only rider to complete this in the heat stages. Bo among five who failed. Is this an opportunity then for Adam Ragger to get himself back into contention? Just one mark separating them. That was nice work from Adam Ragger there. And that's where he dropped him out, remember. He performed this final step beautifully in the heat stages. Can he do so again now in the grand final? He won't want to slip further behind Tony Bow with two sections remaining after this one. Adam Ragger still clean in section four. Brilliant performance so far in this one from Ragger. Up he goes, up he goes, he has to take a mark for footing, he didn't manage to reach that launch quite as high as he wanted to, but he gets through it nonetheless, 12 marks from four, and a ride in hand as well over Tony Bo, who now embarks on section four himself. Remember, this is a potential weak link for Tony Bo, who failed this one in round number two. What about in the grand final? His left turn having proved a challenge for riders in that second round. This is the grand final. Every moment meaning more at this stage. One drop mark, a glancing blow on the sump for Tony Buck. Moves himself back for the final step of this section. Oh, the bike urges both forward. The front wheel goes off the side of the section and down he goes. Tony Bow's front wheel touches the red. And red is never good news in any sport, and certainly not in x -trial. It's a fight for Tony Bow. He's going to complete this final step anyway, just to demonstrate that he could have done it. But it is a five-mark score for Tony Bow, who's not happy about that, who's pleading his case, but it's going to make no difference. We're into section five, and Adam Ragger leads it. This one, a section failed by both riders in the consolation final. Section five in the grand final. But Adam Ragger is already past the block that caught out for Hardo and Marseille. Oh, that's a nasty one. Unnecessary drop mark for Adam Ragger as he just warmed up the back tyre. Slips off the side of the section and takes a mark for leaning. Ragger's got to keep calm here. He still leads it by two marks. He's on 13 now, Bow on 15. If Adam Ragger scores a maximum of one more mark over the remainder of this lap, he will be victorious in Budapest. That is the one mark. So now on 14, Adam Ragger. Two marks in this section, five. But he's through. One more to go. Ragger leads it by one. Could even lead it by more going into the final section. Three consecutive fiascos on the board for Tony Bow, who has no room for error now. A failure here and even mathematical hopes of victory this evening would be over. But Bow has made a super leap there. Once again, demonstrating a completely different line in this grand final. Bo looking to remain clean. The gap once again will be just a single mark going into the final section, but this time it's in favor of Adam Ragger. Tony Bo took the early lead, remember, in section number one by a single mark, and that gap remained until section four. Now it's Adam Ragger defending the advantage. If he is clean in this section, 
Adam Ragger wins X-Trial Budapest for the second time, regardless of what Tony Bow can do. Massive moment for Ragger. Section six is uh, the equivalent of section five from rounds one and two, but now in both directions. Halfway through for Ragger. One mark in front of Tony Bow. Ragger looking for a clean to win, as straightforward as that. He lays down the gauntlet in terms of the total score that Bo has got to beat. This is an important moment. Ah, Ragger's taken a mark for leaning. It was always going to be a tough one to avoid dropping a mark, that crest there. This one of the shorter sections of the previous rounds, and Ragger leaps across there to make it even shorter. And Adam Ragger drops a single mark in section number six. We're all square with Tony Bo still to come. And Bo is under the most extreme pressure now. He must clean this section to keep his hopes alive. The best final of this 2020 campaign so far. And one of the best finals in recent memory. Bo leaps across once again. Forgetting about some of these modules tonight, Tony Bo. He's got the upper body strength and the strength of will as well. Now it's all tied. Bo cannot afford to drop any marks or he will be defeated tonight. And this is the step that cost Adam Ragger a mark for leaning. Bo's got to avoid touching the sump at the top of this step. And he does so. Beautiful on the back wheel from Tony Bo. Still clean in section number six. That's what he needs to do to force a tie break. Tony Bo has pulled off another masterclass. Adam Ragger was celebrating after section six. But Tony Bowe has kept his night alive with back-to-back -back cleans. Section two from the second round will be the tiebreak. We're into a sudden death situation. If Adam Racker fails here, he concedes extra Budapest to Tony Bowe. If he does make it through, Bowe must beat his score or time to take the X-trial. Challenging step this one that's caught out. Plenty of victims tonight. Will Adam Racker be the latest? If he fails here, it will be defeated. Extra Budapest having come so close to victory. Ragger is down. Tony Bo wins Extra Budapest for the second time in his career. Disappointment for Adam Ragger. He is furious with himself. He's let victory slip through his fingers here this evening. He led it by three marks after section four. But it's the other man, the main man, Tony Bo, who's celebrating tonight. Adam Ragger then failing to capitalise on Tony Bowe's rare Section 4 error. The TRS man's own unforced error in Section 5 severely punished in a sudden death tiebreak defeat. It was a great result. I really needed it because I'm still a rookie really at this level. It's a good result for my championship. When the race is as difficult as this and your performance is right, you leave with a good feeling. I would have liked to win, of course, but we have to be positive and treat this second place almost as a victory since we were tied. And that gives me a lot of motivation for Barcelona to really bear my teeth there. I made a lot of mistakes and had to take a lot of risks to recover, but I managed it. I want to congratulate Adam for a brilliant race. Even in the runoff, we were tied. When he's riding like that, he'll certainly make the championship a challenge. After just three rounds, the gap from second to third overall is already up to 23 points, following Jaime Busto's heat two capitulation. Jeroni Fajardo leapfrogs Mikel Gelabert to third, with Gabriel Marseille also making progress. The young Galician's career best third place finish means five different riders have made it onto the podium in the 2020 season. But Tony Bowe survives the pressure of a last section decider at Extra Budapest to ensure it's still one way traffic at the top.
section number three. Oh, he's gone down it. Brilliant performance. What a ride that was from Tony Bo. He's down, and it's a five mark score. Ragger's celebrating. He knows that piles the pressure on to Tony Bo. He's got to remain clean to the end of the section.